Invasion commencing. But as far as like having an internal ranking of modeler skill or anything, there's nothing like that. Squad, advance. Choose your reinforcements. Oh right, this map. On my way, this is man. very difficult. Did they have any air units here? I don't think they do. I'm gonna see if we can get our jet troopers or our jump troopers to get up there. Awaiting orders. Oh the, no, these are specialists, not jump troopers. Move out. Why is the squad so small? I hate the way the first units that come in work. I don't think they'll be able to take out the shield or the power gen yeah. themselves. I got me. But having the specialists Ready. here will help with the IS or with the ATAT. Are there any models from 2007 that still stay the same? I mean, there's some from 2007 that haven't changed, but we intend to change, but. Uh, the Providence, which is just being added to the mod for this version, the model where we intend to use is still going to be the same one. It's just the skin that we're redoing, because Creakin did like a great job on the actual model. It's just uh, the texture from back then is terrible. Right, so it looks like they didn't actually put anything in. You got anything up here, though? Right, so they have that. Get out of there. Alright, you did your job. Reporting in. Walker moving out. We'll back you up. As you wish, General. Laying some I don't think they have a turbo laser set up. Choose your reinforcements. We'll get in some of these guys though. Uh oh. I'm going to get these guys as far away as we can, and we'll send in our saber tanks. I mean, as far as uh, my personal models go, they're probably the biggest mixed bag of quality, because I'll do like, I'll do a lot of modeling, and then I'll take a lot more time off, and all the gains and skill I got just go out the window. It's not so much modeling that I that I was bad at. Like I'm usually fine with the actual modeling. It's uh, texturing that I was always worse at. All right, we'll get these guys out here. What plans do you have for future ground model changes? Well, I did mention earlier. We do want to entirely redo the Empire of the Hand ground stuff. And there's still a lot of the Empire of the Hand space stuff that's getting redone. I copy. Okay, so they have that up there. Reporting. Will the ATAT -AT be able to. Moving out. Target acquired. Heading out. No, it's going to try to go all the way around. I'm going to just try to get a... No, it's not going to be able to reach. Uh-oh. Nope, get out of there. No! Destroyed. It was too late. Choose your reinforcements. Destination capacity. I kinda wanna take out that light vehicle factory up there. Or that vehicle factory up there. Yes, sir. That'll yes, probably sir. be a faster job. Ready. 
We'll just use these guys. Over there. We'll try to use these guys to get some. Oh, never mind. They're just gonna die. I was hoping the artillery wasn't still set up. Unit destroyed. At maximum At unit capacity. Roger that. Unit destroyed. Crap. Setting course. That's just gonna get respawned. Bombing run available. All right, we can't do this right now. I need some IDTs or something. On my way, sir. Uh. So, what we need for that, we get some lats, some glutes, and do we have any other ground production facilities? I don't think we do. Nothing great. I don't want to have to retake it. I'm just going to put some of these other units... I mean, part of the thing that balances Chewbacca's ability now uh, is that if Chewbacca is dead, he's dead. So it can get you that free vehicle, but if that free vehicle dies and Chewbacca dies, you're just, that's it. Alright, we can easily fight this off. Taking the planet's a bit more of a problem. I think the artillery will definitely help. If we can get uh, those lats in as well. Because it's the defenses for the advanced vehicle factory we're worried about. And I think there's only four structures there. Alright. Focus on the ISD. This guy's... That's... that's fine. That's fine. You focus on this dude. I hate this model so much. You ha your weapons have more than enough range to attack this guy from there. Don't turn around. Stop it. Uh, you can took that out. I've got them in my sights. Will there be new loading art when going into battles? Uh, we want to redo the entire UI as much as we can. So, ideally. I'm still trying to talk to Oswolf, our UI designer for Ascendancy, about uh, doing it for AW. Like, I've packed up all the UI assets and sent them off to him, so he's having a look into it. Uh, he's played with it a little bit. But I don't know whether he'll ultimately decide to do it or not. Because he does need to start working on... Uh, like there's still some Ascendancy stuff that he's working on as far as the in-game... Or like, not the in-game cut, because the menu still technically count as in-game, but... Uh, the actual HUD. And uh, there's some stuff with the menus he still needs to fix, because Outlaw Sector, as the Outlaw Sector's DLC, added a bunch of extra buttons that we need to address. And plus he has to start developing some stuff for the upcoming factions as well, just so that they're ready for whenever we need to deploy them.
if you just move them in general, it'll usually work better. Uh, instead of giving the direct orders to attack, but I was really hoping they'd attack the thing I wanted them to. So if uh, if Wade starts working on whatever his design would be for the UI, I'd probably end up uh, just working off that style and trying to help him to get that out. Because a lot of it, it's just tedious editing to get a lot of the buttons into the right style. But once we have the actual basic st setup, a lot of people on the team can do the basic like button editing. As long as we have a template for uh, for colors, styles, all that sort of thing. Right, stop right there, just fire on stuff, that's fine. Stop the engine so he doesn't get any closer. Do they have any sort of like Corvettes or anything we need to track down? No, it's just the last two Lucre Hulks. I mean, there's some stuff we can do for abilities for ships like that, but stop it. Right away. Ultimately, it's essentially just like the Falcon, where you're following a similar template. Into position. I really need the artillery, but I don't want to wait. Nash, Jimmy, Constructing unit. Vehicle cancelled. We do have the AA in this army, just in case they have any sort of anti-air. But I think the lats will be really helpful. I have been watching Rebels. I actually just watched the episode that came out, was it yesterday? Right before recording this. But I won't give away any spoilers for people who are watching it. Will other CIS ships make an appearance in the mod like the Bulwarks of both Fantails? Most of those ships just weren't produced anymore. And again, we already have way more Clone Wars ships than we probably even should. Because uh, again, this isn't a Clone Wars mod. Those ships were all incredibly old, incredibly weak, and they'd all fit into like... Even if they were still used, they'd fit into the frigate and cruiser framework, and there's so many better ships for any given faction uh, the, to fit those roles. Uh, especially stuff like Sabo's cruisers, which were even limited by the... even limited in the Clone Wars, like incredibly limited. Uh, they don't really fit. The only Clone Wars ship that we haven't done that we might do is the Recusant for the CSA at some point, but probably not. I mean, we could probably make half a Clone Wars mod just based off of the stuff that's already in the game from the Clone Wars. How many changes will the NR get? Uh, they're... Most of their changes are like story related as opposed to being uh, significant reworks to their roster. So... They get stuff like the Dauntless, but they're not getting a significant amount uh, in the Republic Star Destroyer. But their unit roster is already really well fleshed out. They're getting stuff like uh, some other stuff just aesthetically redone. Like uh, there's the new Quasar model, there's the new fighter models, and some other stuff like that. But essentially, aside from the story missions they're getting, they're going to be pretty similar between 2.2 and 2.1. You planning to make the Crimson Command VSDs the anchor of Greater Maldrew? The Crimson Command fleet was pretty large. Uh, well, 73 ships isn't a huge amount in the context of 
how big these factions usually were. And the EU is really inconsistent on stuff like that. But they're a they're a major part of it, but they are still just frigates. Right, the hug of death is coming. So they're really good frigates, but they are still just frigates in a game where capital ships really do stand out more. Oh, that needs to die. Need to focus on these weapons first. See, it did manage to kill the, uh, the shield because it was shooting up through this way. Alright, this is going to be closer than I hoped. Right, see you, man. See you, engine. The lasers are our target. Uh, I'm gonna try to take Contrum one more time, and then we're probably gonna call the stream there. It's been a good two hours already, almost. If we can even win this battle. Our target priority is the laser cannons. What I might end up doing is, uh, between episodes, since we're losing or since we don't have many ships, I might just play a little bit off-screen to build up a fleet. Uh, just so that there's not too many episodes of just sitting in the same place and uh, building ships, essentially. So I don't know how many times people want to see the Battle of Contrum. Right, we still have one allegiance. They have two Lucre Hulks, and we do have this sector. So we'll see if we can win this. I don't know if we really can. Which is disappointing. For dominators, we essentially would just have to port the model from my from ascendancy stop it then for tectors we do need to make the tector version of the new ISD model hopefully that's all stuff we can get done for the demo but I don't think we'd end up delaying the demo for that if we uh, if we get everything else done first. I'll probably watch Rogue One at some point. I don't think I'm going to be going to see it in theaters. So I cannot afford to at the moment. The only visual difference between the Tector and the ISC2 is the underside, so from the top you won't really be able to tell. It'll just be icon description, weapon amounts. Alright. So we won, but we'll probably have to back off. Yeah. We can't afford to keep doing that. Actually, we do have everything. Hopefully I didn't rebuild anything at that time. Okay. I'm gonna go fast. Moving to coordinates. We only have one company of lats and one company of artillery, but we're gonna give it a try. What is the point of the Tectors? So Tectors are... They have slightly heavier weapons and shielding, or... Er, yes, and, uh, hull. 
but they have uh, they don't have any hangars essentially, so they're meant to be supported by other ships. Whereas ISDs are a lot more uh, versatile, I guess. Receiving orders. See what we can do with these guys. Right, so we'll get. We'll spread our soldiers. We'll deploy our artillery. Aerial artillery reporting, as you wish. Attacking. Squadron moving out. Lancet proceeding. Command received. Right away. Firing. All right. We should be able to take out the buildings like this. The reason that I'm not using the AT, -AT troopers is because until we until we sort out the uh, the way we want infantry companies to function and then adjust for that, the using the deploy troopers uh, ability will cause the game to crash. Because the way that functions, it, it's using a specific company type. And that company type is coded differently right now. Uh... I'm playing from the ground up as the Imperial Remnant. I keep getting attacked by a third fleet of Red Venators. That's not the hand. So those are raid fleets. They can uh, they can occur in pretty much any battle between any factions. If you're getting Venators in them, that's based uh, on the Penistar alignment. Will you update the Cynic so that it has more uses once the Phalanx are built? So all of the Empire of the Hand capital ships are getting an adjustment with these builds. The reason that they function the way they do in the current version is because uh, like the Phalanx had to function as both the Intego and the Phalanx. So the Phalanx is supposed to be the more damage-oriented and fragile ship, whereas the Intego was meant to be defensive. But since the Intego wasn't a thing yet, we sort of had to use a lot of Imperial Empire of the Hand ships on double duty. But now that we have those other ships ready... Uh, we're able to specialize the ones that are there a lot more. So instead of just the Syndic being this weaker version of the Phalanx, uh, it being a more versatile sort of ship uh, will mean a bit more. I'm actually just going to send these guys off. And if these guys come up to our main force, hopefully we'll be able to take them out with our artillery before anything bad happens. I'm more concerned with taking out the buildings. But... Yeah, so the Cynic's going to be more like a, the ISD-1-2 sort of deal, where it's a bit more of a, a versatile multi-purpose ship, whereas the Phalanx is more uh, more damage-oriented, the Intego is more of a tank. And since they'll be specialized, they can be better at their individual roles, which will help them separate a lot more from the, from the Cynic. Emperor Palpatine, you ever get a hero icon replacement for his Palpatine Reborn art? Uh, most likely. Attack. Fire. Open fire. Attack the target. Attacking target. Fire at will. Cut through them. Targeting. Blast them out. Attacking. So these guys, uh, their auto firing should be working on the lats. Because they can target it, that's how we were able to destroy the IDTs. But it just doesn't want to auto fire. I normally doesn't want to auto, auto target them. Heading for attack position. Attack. 
And that is something that I believe we've changed already. That is kill it off. Attack the target. Attacking target. Fire at will. Will the Siruvi and Nagai invasions ever be featured in the mod? I believe these wars happen right after the destruction of the Death Star, and so the Warlord Empires are already formed. Uh, the Siruvi we'd like to do. Uh, the Nagaitov War, probably not. The problem with doing the Siruvi in the mod is uh, they'd require having a ground component too, and doing infantry like that is really difficult. I really want to change how the uh, how the beams on the LEATs work. Like we might be able to do it eventually, but it's just it's a huge pain. And even the mods that just s basically steal models from LucasArts games and shove them in, there is no model that exists for a Ruby and anything else. So we might be able to make them eventually, but it's not something we're working on right now. And then the Gaitoff War is one of the weirdest things that happened in Star Wars, which is saying a lot. Right, the AT-AT is going to come over here. See if we can get these guys to. Out. There we go. Form up. Engaging. Let's move out. Well, at least we know where these are. I'm gonna get one of these squads to come up over here. Reporting. And we'll get these guys to come up as well. Awaiting orders. Keep going. I have the target in sight. Oh, that's fine. Do the same up here. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what you mean, Total War plays and walkthroughs. They can't, or can with a D. I'm not sure if that's supposed to say can or can't. Thanks, Dark Trooper. Uh, similar problems to the Evitha. I mean, the only problems the Evitha really have is that they're a smaller faction. Uh, we didn't develop them that much because they're only in the 1GC, where there's not really much for them to get, or much that they'd need. Uh, but we are doing a bit more from for 2.2. But the, the only real problem with the Siruvi is that uh, like the ground really is really is just ground for them that's a problem I'd love to do them we have them in ascendancy and in various doing various things but it really is just they don't have anything for ground is the problem We need to take out the facilities before they get any more free units. You're done good. Alright, this should be good. I think we are going to get rid of friendly fire. Because it's just too much... Uh, that the game's not really aware that it's a thing, so the way it does auto-targeting, it, it's way too easy to kill your own units. Not through giving bad commands, just because... 
It's because they end up firing when you don't really want them to. So at least we'll have gotten Contra back. So no, I'm just not sure if you're saying that we're that people playing the game on YouTube can kill too much with too little. In which case, you're just saying that it's too easy to beat the AI, or if you're saying we should be able to beat more with what we have. In which case, what I will say is that I'm spending half the time actually looking at the game as it's happening, and half the time turning entirely to my right and trying to read the chat room as this is happening. Uh, because I'm focusing a bit more on trying to talk about the changes in the upcoming version and all that than really focusing on the game which don't get me wrong I'm still terrible at the game but this is neither a reflection of my ability at my best at the game nor is it really what I'm aiming to do Which is kind of what I mean by uh, just trying to take a little bit of time off screen to build up the fleet so that there's less uh, System control achieved. waiting for expansion beyond what we've already seen. Just because then I can just focus on quickly building up the fleet, fighting off whatever they decide to attack with what we're defending. And then next time we're actually having an episode, I should have a bit more of a built, built up force. Because I also don't want to just sit around and build units while people are watching, because that's boring. But... It has been about two hours, so I think that's going to do it for now. I really am hungry. So I'm going to save there. Uh, there is a link to our community Discord channel for Corey Loses and GB Gaming in the in the description of this video. So if you want to join that, if you want to talk to myself, Gull, Bane, uh, a lot of the devs for different mods for Sins and EIW, as well as the Thrawn's Revenge team, are in there. So if you're ever looking for a place to organize uh, games and Sins mods or to talk about mods, any of that fun stuff, uh, you can check that out. I'm going to be in there for most of the rest of the day while I work on stuff because I do need to get a lot of stuff done for the demo. I'm actually trying to get a little bit ahead on videos so that uh, when I go home for the holidays, uh, the fact that I'm only, I only have access to my laptop won't be a huge setback for either the channel or the mod. I'm going to use that time to both look for a job, which is a big issue right now, and to try to finish off the demo so hopefully you guys will be playing with this fairly soon uh but thanks so much for watching everyone uh so if you remember if you like the content and you want to support it uh leave a like on the video if you want to subscribe when we put up the rest of this uh so these episodes will be going up or the episode or the videos from this will be going up over the next week and i'm going to try to record ahead of it. That's why we did this today instead of the community game that we were going to do so next saturday we will be doing an ascendancy community game uh, if you want to get on that, make sure you have Ascendancy 1.0 downloaded. That's what we're going to be playing. And that'll be at 2 p.m. as well. But that'll do it for now, guys. I'm going to hang out in the chat room and in the Discord there. So if you have any more questions, I'm going to try to answer them as well. But thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back later.